Now all this talk of fields is very good, but how do we actually know a field exists? And how will we know if we're in one? As I sit here at my desk writing this, could there be an electric field in this room, a magnetic field in this room? I know there's a gravitational field in this room. Well, unless the field has some effect and you can measure it, it's not really very meaningful. So how do we measure electric and magnetic fields? Well, for electric fields, it's pretty easy. You just take a charged particle, either a positive or negative charge, and see what force is applied to it. So if, there, if, you, if I hold a positive charge or a negative charge up in the room and I see it starts accelerating off in some direction, there's some force. The law is that the force is equal to its charge times the electric field. So we know there's an electric field because a charged particle experiences a force, and an uncharged particle doesn't, and an oppositely charged particle experiences a force in the opposite direction. So that's pretty easy. That's basically how electric field meters work. You have some charges often inside a metal, and you see what's happening to them, and that tells you what electric field is there. How about magnetic field? Well, for that, it's a bit more tricky. If you just have a charge, positive or negative, in a magnetic field, it doesn't have any effect. It just sits there. However, if you try to move the charge with some velocity vector v, then you experience a force. And the force is at right angles both to the magnetic field and to the velocity. In fact, the equation for the magnetic force is it's equal to, once again, the charge V cross B. So this is the cross product as before, which means it's at right angles to both velocity and magnetic field. So did I draw this the right way around? Uh, let's see. So we've got V in this direction and the magnetic field upwards. So which direction of cross product worked is the right hand rule. So if I put my right hand, I've got the fingers curling from the first thing to the second thing, and the thumb sticking out like this towards us. So in fact, the force is in the right direction. I drew it right, which is a complete fluke, I must admit. Because you're going from V around to B. Wrap your fingers in that direction of your right hand, and then the thumb points in the direction of the force. If we combine these two, we come up with the Lorentz force law, which tells us that the total force vector on something is equal to the charge, electric field, plus velocity across magnetic field. So that's how we can measure what electric and magnetic fields are in an area. We can take a stationary charge that tells us the electric field. If you then make it move, that will tell you the magnetic field. This is most naturally done by having the charges be electrons inside a conductor of some description. And that will tell you it. It also means once you've calculated what the fields are, you can work out what the forces are on any charges moving or stationary.